What is a robot's favorite kind of music? Erica loves to tell jokes. Heavy metal. They're cheesy, but give her a break. Haha. -ha. She is a robot. Well, let's just do one more. Sure. How do you stop a robot from destroying you and the rest of human civilization? Whoa, that's a little more serious. You don't. Jeez, okay. Haha. -ha. Erica might not be so funny, but she is one of the many ways in which Japan is redefining robotics. By 2020, Japan plans on integrating more robots into society than anywhere else on Earth. But what does that mean for us? That they'll replace humans? Or enhance them? Or just be non-stop dance partners? In Tokyo, this guy believes robots could be everyone's personal sidekick. Like the kind in Disney films. In Pinocchio, uh, there's Jiminy Cricket. He uh, works as an information device and also has been as a friend. To realize his dream, Tomataka built Robohan, a walking, talking smartphone that also exercises and streams YouTube from his head. The more you use him, the more he learns about you. He's small and cheerful, which Tomataka thinks will broaden his appeal. We're trying to find something in between, smart enough to be our friend, but uh, not too smart to, you know, scare the world. While Tomataka is creating social companions, Let's head south to meet some workplace assistants. In Nara, close to a giant Buddha and these deer, a company called Atorn is making wearable robots which help people lift and carry heavy objects. As Japan's workforce keeps shrinking and aging, inventions like this will be key to keeping the country moving. The population is projected to decline over 12% in the next 20 years, and nearly 35% of those people will be over 65. Just up the road, near Kyoto, a different team is trying to replace people at work by replicating humans. My name 